Hey, you know what? We're back and we're at the CCA workbench this week and we've got a whole bunch of new products, Dave. Product showcase. The only thing I have to do this week, it's awesome. You got a break this week, didn't <laughs> Yes, you? I did. Taking it easy. Yep. First thing we're going to talk about are these Williamson Wireman gloves there. <clears throat> You know, whenever you're going to get a fish up close to the boat, you have to have a good pair of gloves. And we had some sun gloves on from AFCO last week and, or a couple weeks ago, and now we've got these Williamson gloves are made for holding a little heavier fish, you know. Uh, they got a nice uh, nylon uh, insert in the back that keeps them stiff. You know, it keeps heavy leaders when you're, you know, when in the right spot. When you're wrapping that fish, mm -hmm, that'd be the wrong way. Across, you yeah, go this come way. the other way. Yeah. <laughs> when you're, when you're, and you're coming across your hand, that'll right. keep you from getting cut back there as right. well. Not only that, it keeps you from crushing. You know, you don't want it to crush. But these gloves also, they have a nice leather part on the in the in the in the middle here mm -hmm. and on the thumb, so that allows you to get a good grip. Well, and and the dexterity you get because you don't have an extra covering over the tips of the fingers. Correct. Correct. And there, what, another good thing about these gloves is they're not so thick that is, they won't hurt you a little. You know, you don't want to have a pair of real heavy wiring gloves that don't hurt at all because if you break the leader when the fish is jumping away, you didn't, you know, you've lost the fish. You haven't you've tagged lost, it. Yeah. You haven't put a gaff in it. You know, and it works that way with all fish. So if it doesn't hurt a little bit to make you let go, you know, you're not going to let go, <laughs> and you're going to break him off, you're and that's not a good off. thing. We want him to let go. So yes, those are do. some nice Williamson gloves there. Also, here we have this new Taylor Offshore Trolling Kit. And what's really cool about these things, here's the, the big one you want to hold right here, is uh, it, it's got this cam locking system on it, so it allows you to change out these uh, your hook set. You know, you, you got your, your head here, and you pull that thing back. It's kind of like a, uh, uh, a lock on an on a air Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. You know what? If I was right handed, I could probably do it easier. Yeah, you might have to pull gotcha. it. Gotcha. And, oh, and it's got little tabs that you line up. Correct. Okay. So it comes apart just like that, but Correct. you can twist it and mm -hmm. then make it not. Correct. Gotcha. And, and it, you know, it comes with all these different, you can get all different uh, yeah. ones. This is, this is called the Taylor Offshore Trolling Kit, and it comes with four or five of these uh, E1s and M1s. So you can put them all together and, and change out. You get your baits in the water faster, and that's the whole idea. Boy, it, you, you know. sure can. You, you can rig up a whole bunch of these baits and have them sitting, and when you go to change out your leader, bang, 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 you just put that little clip together, and boom, you're ready to go. Pretty neat little stuff. There. Now, this this next thing is you, you brought along, which I thought was really cool, and these are these little uh, glass minnow imitators. Oh, man. They're not grass minnow imitators. They're actually their little crappie dapper from Bass Assassin. Yeah. But these things look just like a little tiny uh, glass minnow. And I know that uh, right now there's a lot of little baby fish in the water and a lot of the fish are targeting those little baby fish. And if you throw something big in there after them, they're not going to start chasing it. They're, they're very size specific a lot of times. And when they're chasing those little tiny things, you throw a big chug bug or something in there, they're not going to want to eat it. They want to eat that little thing. And it's amazing how big fish will do that. Big tarpon, giant fish, doesn't care. Um, the, the, I've been using these for the tarpon in the river a lot because they've been feeding on small glass minnows. But trout, redfish, everything, including speckled perch, the crappie, mm -hmm. uh, eat them. And you were saying you want to take them to freshwater, try and use them in your bass pond. Oh, yeah, because I've got, you know, if you look on a lot of the bakes, uh, lakes in central Florida right now, they've got all those fry that are up on the surface. At, at, right at dark, yeah. and there are tons of them up on the surface, and the bass are just in there, just tearing them to pieces. And nothing I throw out there, unless it's about that same size, gets bit. You need to have something nice yeah. and small. Everything you're throwing is probably twice or three times the size of what they're exactly. feeding on. And they don't want none of that. They don't want it. They no. don't want it. What else have we got? Well, this is a really cool. This is a cool uh, Huck Performance Proficient shirt. Uh, Huck, they just came out with this new fishing stuff recently. What's really cool about this shirt, it's made out of two different kinds of fabrics. It's kind of really hard to tell, but here on the back you can tell a lot easier. It's got a mesh on the bottom and along the back sides of the arms, and on the top it's got a real high-tech performance, you know, microbiob microbiobial, whatever the heck they call it. Microbial. Keeps, microbial, exactly. Yeah. Keeps stuff from stinking on you. It wicks the water off you. It doesn't get stained. Uh, so sun protection on top, venting underneath. Yep, yep. And very good for stains as well, the huck, huck fishing performance. And then we've got some new suffix lines. Well, this is our last one. You know, we've got the new new suffix 8, 832 came out last year with a bunch of new new stuff, the 10s and the 20. A lot of the guys were saying, hey, man, we want something in between. So they came out with the 15-pound. And that's got something they call a five-pound mono diameter, which is, you know, you imagine a five-pound five, five pound monofilament would have to be pretty tiny. Somewhere between four and six pounds. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yep. It'd have to be tiny. And that stuff's tiny. And if it's breaking at 15 pounds, you know, it, for, for as small as it is, I bet you a dollar it breaks more than that. And it's very supple, 
cast like a dream as, as all that suffix 832 and braid that, does. That gore fiber reduces the amount of noise and reduce, it, it increases the, uh, the, the slickness of the line so it passes through your guides and casts a little better. Right. Dave O'Mayo, great job. All, all kinds of great new products. We're yeah. going to look forward to coming back here next week and doing it again. But yes, until sir. then, enjoy the break. I'm going to.